Halloween is one of the few times other than conventions where you can dress up and not get laughed at. Done right, you can look like a badass and not like some dipshit that lives in his parents' basement. Like me. <laughs> So that's why I'm going to give you the top 10 Halloween costumes for nerds. So whether you're going to a party, you know, out going out trick-or-treating with your friends, or doing what I'm doing, which is sitting in my parents' basement and eating a bag of candy to my face in my underwear, you're going to go out looking good. So for number 10, you know, getting really angry here, we have Dr. Bruce Banner. So this is for you nerds that want to look way smarter than you actually are. You know, slap on a, you know, Pretty decent suit, you know, some glasses and a white lab coat, maybe a name tag that says Dr. Banner on it, and you are golden. You know, you can go that extra step and put some green contacts in your eyes. And, you know, hey, then you got it. And for all you people out there who are, you know, thinking, oh, why can't I just be the Hulk then? Let's face it, the Hulk isn't really your best choice. Number nine, gonna come, you know, waddling in here, we have the Penguin. Now, I'm not talking about the Danny DeVito, you know, Adam West type penguin, the kind of penguin that you're thinking of. I am talking about the Arkham City Arkham Knight ruthless crime lord penguin with the end of a beer bottle shoved into his eye instead of a monocle. Oh, and a cigar hanging out of your mouth at all times. This is good for, nor for nerds who are like, you know, short. Um, just don't waddle when you walk or squawk when you laugh. So, then you should be fine. Number eight, we have the Kingpin. Now this is good for nerds who are packing on a couple hundred extra pounds. You know, all you need is a white suit, a pimp cane, and to shave your head. Or you can use a bald cap. Um, this will make you look like a beast, though. And I know what you're thinking. Isn't the Kingpin fact? Well, no. Fun fact from the comics, the Kingpin is actually all muscle. He's got one of those physiques, kind of like a strong man or a defensive lineman in football. You know, imagine... My Clark Duncan, from who played uh, the Kingpin in the Daredevil movie. One of the only good things in that movie. So, yeah, you get that down, and there you go. Number seven, swinging into here, we have Spider-Man. A good costume for those of you nerds out there who are, like, really skinny. Um, because, let's face it, us nerds, we usually come in two packages. Either we're fat or we're skinny. There is rarely an in-between. So, just make sure it's a good costume, because, like, Spider-Man costumes are very common, and make sure you get one that's actually good and not just one that you buy at, you know, Walmart. Um, but the problem is you're going to have to walk around with, probably without your mask. Um, if you're going anywhere you're talking to anybody, your voice is going to be muffled by the mask. And that's really going to put a damper on things. Oh, and if you're talking to a cute girl at like a party or anything in this costume because it's so tight, you're going to have to find a creative way to hide the tent that you're pitching. So, be careful with this one. Number six, shooting their way in here, we have the Punisher. Um, black jeans, skull shirt, black trench coat, and a couple of airsoft guns. There you go. Now you look like one of the toughest comic book characters ever. Um, only problem is if you go walking around with a bunch of fake guns, you're probably going to end up being shot by the cops on Halloween night. Um, but you'll look badass while getting shot, though, so totally worth it. Number five, we have Nick Fury. Um, now, there are two versions of Nick Fury. There's the ultimate version, which is the one that's portrayed by Samuel L. Jackson in the movies, uh, that, which is very popular right now. Um, and there's also the original comic book er, vor, version. Um, so, the ultimate version is very similar to the Punisher costume. Uh, all you need is his leather jacket, all that. Um, while the version in the comic is more traditional. Comic book kind of, you know, costume. Either way, it'll be a fun costume. Oh, and you need an eye patch and 5 o'clock shadow and a scar hanging out of your mouth. Then you should be fine. Number four is wearing its ugly head. We have Deadpool. Um, another really fun costume. I mean, how could you go wrong dressing up as the Merc with the mouth? Um, you get to walk around with, like, ninja swords and everything on your back and a bunch of machine guns and shit. And, oh yeah, you're going to look really cool. So same problem with the Spider-Man costume, though, is that your voice is going to be muffled by the mask, and we all know what Deadpool looks like without his mask, so there's a problem. Let me flip a coin here. Uh, Two-Face. Two-Face is another badass costume. You get to walk around in a black and white suit, or, you know, just a half-normal, half-like, messed-up suit, depending on which version you go with, and some killer makeup that you can get creative with on one side of your face. Um, and you get to flip a coin all night. That's always good. So, 
Yeah. Even though you look like a, even though like half your body looks like an overcooked steak, you're still gonna look badass. Number two, why so serious? The Joker. Um, either version of the Joker you are going to go as will look badass. Dyeing your hair green and some killer makeup and you will look like a homicidal clown, which is good on this night. Uh, you just have to make sure you get your Joker laugh down and um, don't look like an emo version of Marilyn Manson that instead of posting that you are damaged up on Facebook as your status, you just decide to write it in cursive across your forehead for some reason. Yeah. For honorable mention, we have the Terminator and Darth Vader. Didn't put Darth Vader on the list because eh, it was a, maybe a little bit too of a complicated costume. Terminator, we already have too many guys with like leather jackets and everything like the Punisher. Number one, he shot first, Han Solo. Why not? With the new Star Wars movie coming out, Star Wars is bigger than ever right now. You'll basically be dressing up as a space cowboy. How cool is that? And one of the most badass characters in movie history. You get to, you know, have a grouchy attitude all day and, you know, nobody will judge you for it. Like, everybody judges me every day when I go out with my grouchy attitude just because I'm so damn antisocial. I don't want anybody talking to me. Yeah, you won't be judged for that. So, yeah. I mean, it's a simple costume, too. You just need, like, boots and a white shirt, maybe a vest or a leather jacket or something, and you're cool. The Force is strong with this costume. So that's it for me, guys. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. And happy Halloween. Thanks for watching.